So what's God up to? What's his big plan? It's a question we always ask every time we see things happening in the world. We're just like, God, what are you doing? And we think about the, the answer that could be most important in terms of politics or um, nations rising and falling, wars, rumors of wars, all those kinds of things. But you want to know what God's greatest priority is? Great, God's greatest priority is people coming to Christ. And Romans chapter 11 describes how God's plan played out and continues to play out in the real world. Whenever the gospel came, it first came to the Jews. Jesus first came to his own people. Paul talks about that in Romans chapter 11. And also Paul's pattern, whenever he would go into a city on his missionary journeys, he would first go to the synagogue and present to the Jewish people. And he would tell them, this is who the Messiah is. The Messiah has come, he's ready, and he's willing to accept you by faith. Many believed, many did not. And whenever the, uh, whenever the synagogues of the first century, when the Jewish people who were there, whenever they would reject Paul's message, he would say, all right, I'm going to the Gentiles. And in fact, Paul in this passage and elsewhere describes himself as the apostle to the Gentiles. Now, the word apostle is a little Greek word, which means to be sent with a message. It's a messenger. And that's what we are. We're God's messengers. We're taking the message of Christ down into the world. And so in this passage, God shows us the big picture of his plan, that his plan was to send to, it goes back in time, even before Christ came. His plan began with Abraham, that through Abraham, God revealed himself to the world. And Abraham's descendants were to be a light unto the world. But ultimately, one of Abraham's descendants was to be the Messiah, the Savior of the world, and that is Jesus Christ. And so Jesus came to his own, but his own did not receive him, as John chapter 1 tells us. But Jesus still reached out to them. And whenever he died on the cross, he died not just for the Jews, but for the Gentiles as well, for all of the people, so that anybody, Jew or Gentile, could come to Christ and come to faith and be reconciled to God. So here in Romans chapter 11, as you read through it today, these first 24 verses, what you'll find is how God's plan plays out. So we can ask ourselves, well, does it mean that God's plan has failed if the Jewish people rejected the Messiah? Not at all. God still has a plan. And here we read how Paul's desire is for the, the Jewish believers or the Jewish people would see Gentiles having this relationship with Christ and make them jealous for what they have and that they would come to Christ. And he compares it to a tree, that God's plan can be compared to a fig tree where uh, the fig tree represents the people of God and branches broke off and were, fell off because of unbelief and new branches were grafted on through faith. We are those new branches. You see, for the first century Jew, it was unbelievable to think that Gentiles could be made part of the family of God without having to convert, convert to Judaism. And yet that's what God has done through faith. And so now together we make this tree which brings glory to God. And then Paul he says, tells us to be careful that branches were broken off because of unbelief, and that's what will happen again. Now, is he saying that individual believers could lose their salvation? I don't believe so, because elsewhere in Scripture we find how those that God has placed in the hands of his Son can never be lost. But he's talking about peoples. He's talking about the big picture of history, and we see that where there's nations, places in this world where the gospel was so strong and where there's a large number of believers, and yet through time unbelief has come and those branches have fallen off, and those have been are gathered up and burned. It's, uh, there's become no good to God anymore. But what is really here, though, is that promise. That promise that all who believe can be drafted, grafted into that tree and how God's plan continues. That it goes back, that even though in the first century the nation of Israel rejected the Messiah, God still has a plan. He has a plan for all people on the earth. That plan is wrapped up in Christ, that all of us might come to faith and might believe and give our all to him through Jesus Christ.